Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how the AI editor works using the StarCraft 2 editor. So say you have a tower defense map and you want to send attack waves. So you'll want some points to send your units. So I'll just go to the points up the top and place a normal point. And I can rename this whatever I want. Let's just name I'll name it the spawn point. So then let's say you want it to go move somewhere to gather first. Maybe you have multiple spawn points or something. I'll call this the gather point. So then I'll make another. And let's make this the uh, we can name it something like relay a point. So this be a point in the path that the units have to move to, and then finally have our final point, which will be the target. So now you have a few points. Let's go up to map and go to player properties. You're going to pick one of the unused players. I like to stick with 14 and set the control to computer. And then you can click OK. So now what you want to do is go into the trigger editor. I'm going to delete all of these because I don't need them. You're going to want to do a new action under AI. You're going to want to um, turn on the AI. So this one, start AI personalities, is what you're going to want. So that will work. So then what you want to do is you want to run the uh, waves. So you want to do uh, run all attack waves. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing else. Um, looks good. Uh, you could do either one of these. I think this one will be fine to so to run all attack waves. So you want to change this player to the player you changed earlier. And you want to change this one to the target, which is player 1 at the moment, since there's only one player in this map. And then I'm going to just do. I'm going to reveal the, the whole map just so you can see it once we test it. If you do zero, it will reveal for the whole game. So that's all the triggers you're going to need. So now what you want to do is you want to go up to the top and go to the AI editor. So we'll open this pop up. So what you want to do, you want to add a new personality, and under the general tab you can name it whatever you want, you can name it AI Tech Waves, that'll work, you can put it whatever color you want, maybe white, and the source player is the player that will be sending the enemy units, so that will be player 14. The target players specified in the triggers, which we did over here. However, for extra security, you can specify player 1 as the enemy. You can also specify more than one player if you had more than one player in your map. So then go over to the attack waves tab and create a new wave. So here's where you will actually be creating your AI waves. Now if the units don't already exist on the map, you can do create units instantly 
and then the AI will not have to figure out how to afford and build the units like a normal AI in a melee map. So if you want to just create that, you can check that. So now on the units tab, you can add units. And under type, search for a type. Let's do zergling. And then under this, you can uncheck the use for all. And then there's a bunch of different difficulty settings. You can choose very easy, easy, or you can just have it all the same for everyone and make some units. And then you can keep adding more. Say you want a roach. And that'll be good for the first wave. So then what you also want to do is you can give it some times to get to certain points in the wave. So the first one, let's say 20 seconds it takes. This will run instantly at the beginning. So then every 20 seconds it will launch the next wave. And then at the point, there's a bunch of different options here. So first we can do a create point. This is the point that it will create the units of the wave. So let's click your spawn point. This will be for all the difficulties. And let's make a waypoint. This will be the relay point. And then the gather point that we made earlier. I'll actually move that up because gather is before relay. And then lastly, the target. And then click OK. And now you have a wave and it has the different information. Now you can just simply copy paste that a few times and double click it to change the amount of units. You can just increase that if you want. Um, add more if you want. And what you can also do is repeat waves. So if I show the how much time will be in the map. Can re if I do final wave 1, this will repeat wave 5 until the end of the map. So this is showing the delay, and it's going to repeat that last wave as many times as there is time left. So if I do 2, it will repeat wave 4 and wave 5, and so on. You can also play around with the difficulty using the triggers and setting which uh, difficulty the computer player is at the start. And so, when you test it, let's run this. So once this loads, you can see it created the first wave as soon as the map started. to move to all the points we set up or eventually gets to the point and then at 20 seconds it should create the second wave which there it is and it will continue to do that until your waves are finished so also if you don't want all of your units to be so bunched up and you want them to move sort of one at a time. You want to do that through a custom trigger and you can select the trigger through here. And also if you don't select a point in the point spot the units will just search around for the closest enemy unit so that's sort of a helpful information to know. So if you want the units to go one at a time you'll have to go through these AI uh, actions and you'll have to add the unit one at a time to a unit group and then add the unit to a wave through this action and then there's an action uh, you can run the wave specifically through triggers 
through this. And there's a lot of different actions you can play around with through here. So if you want them one at a time, you'll have to do it this way. So here is one way you can do the uh, a way to spawn the units in a line instead of in a big bunch. So if you uncheck the create units instantly, you keep everything else the same as you had it before. You go into your triggers and you make a function like this where um, you start the AI and you tell it to run the trigger which will create your wave. What this will do is create a single, u single unit which will be attached to a wave and then all the other units will be spawned to follow that unit. And so there will be one unit in the wave which will basically be a unit that tells everything else where to get. So that is one way of doing it. There are multiple other ways which you can play around with, but I just wanted to show an example for this video. Okay, so one last thing is that if you want to decide the difficulty of the player, you can search for difficulty and set the player difficulty level for the AI player. And then you can pick the difficulty that you want the AI to be. Now since I set all of them to be the same for every wave, it doesn't matter, but if you have different difficulties, that is how you would do that. So, thank you for watching, and now you know how to use the AI editor for the StarCraft 2 editor. Thank you for watching, and if you want more tutorials, you can check the description links, and have a good day.